everyone. My name's Jackie. I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Natasha. <laughs> okay. This is my mum, Jackie. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Tash, the Sawgrass Stitcher. This is my mum, Jackie. We're here to talk about her shop. Um, you can see this beautiful fabric behind us. Mum has an Etsy store where she sells mainly quilting stuff. Mainly quilting fabrics, lots of. Um, and just introducing some yarns, um, mainly wools, but um, a variety of cottons as well. Um, and about to start stocking some needlework. Yay, Tash is off to Nashville Market to do some shopping for me. Yes, I am going to Nashville in a few weeks and it's coming up really quickly and there's a lot of previews coming out that are really exciting some lovely things yeah yes mm. yes um so um mum stitches don't you i have not stitched for a while but <laughs> i am a stitcher i i um when we lived in america in the 90s i did lots of started with cross stitch and moved on to samplers and lots of other techniques there i particularly like hard on drawn through thread and drawn thread work but um yeah, I've, I always have a sampler or some stitching on the frame upstairs. Um, but I've been spending a lot of time crocheting lately and quilting. Mm -hmm. And how's your And a Forest group coming along? <laughs> Tasha, that's really <laughs> me. <laughs> we started that as a stitch along and um, I don't think you've touched it since about week two or three. <laughs> I think I have done maybe one sixth of it. Yeah. But um, that's okay. <laughs> I'll catch up. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've been doing other things in between. It's not like I do nothing. No, you've been doing lots of crochet. I can't believe how quickly you worked out the quilts. The, the afghans, the shawls. The afghans, and lots of shawls, yes. Yeah, it, it's a brainless thing to do when when you're tired at night. Don't after say brainless. Day. <laughs> well, not brainless. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a very therapeutic thing to do that you don't have to concentrate on after a long, hard day. Um, and then my weekends are for my other crafts. Mainly that's how I, I sort of try to organise it. But of course life interferes. Mm. Life and my very demanding children. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> the demanding children that you send halfway across the world to shop for you. <laughs> and to look after the shop while you're away on cruises. I'll have a lovely piece for <laughs> She's away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we were going to talk about how you can do pre-orders from us for Nashville and then we were going to talk about some of our favorite designs that we've already seen sneak peeks of because um, there are some really good ones coming um, so pre-orders pre-orders I have an Etsy shop it's called motives by hand Tasha will um, I'll put, put in up the, the, the name and contact and details up here and they'll also be down in the description box below mm -hmm. so um, over the next couple of days we're going to be listing the um, the samplers kits, um, some fabrics and some thread packs that we'll have available from Nashville um, and um, open up for you to do your orders. Um, we'll, Tasha will also provide you with an email address if you want to contact her or I to, um, to ask any questions about anything. And if you have any special requests, we'd really like to hear that to give us some indication of, of you know where your interests lay. and, and so we're not just getting the things we love <laughs> and maybe missing out on something you love. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and also there'll probably be an opportunity, some of the designers will be bringing some of their older designs as well. So if you're interested in any of the older designs, we can bring those back to Australia and um, send them out to whoever is interested. And going forward, we're going to carry more cross-stitch in the future. So hopefully we'll be someone you can come to for things you want. Yeah. Yeah, especially the, the hard to find things in Australia. Um, like fabrics. Yeah. <laughs> the we're hand lucky, fabrics. We're lucky in that we um, we have um, go to America regularly and have contacts there and have addresses there, so we can. Um, it's much easier for us to source maybe than if we were just here in Australia doing things over the email. <laughs> yep. So should we talk about some Nashville releases? That would be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> there are some really good ones. I've been watching. Uh, we get you get emails to your inbox. I do because I registered because you registered for the show. So Mum gets emails about all the new releases coming out, and um, there are lots of good ones coming. Well, there's yeah, a nice wide variety of them yes. too. You know, from the samplers to other designs too. 
one of the big hits from the show, what I'm seeing in a lot of places, is the, um, the quilting bee from Blue Flower Stitching. Um, I think that's going to be a big hit. I think we're certainly going to be doing I've never it. even heard of the Blue Flower, but they've come mm. out with the quilting bee and some cute little squirrels, and I know that a few other people have talked about them, but that quilting bee is so cute, and I want that <laughs> so much. It's lovely. It's really sweet. Um, I wonder if they have a floss list so I can start start getting my threads ready for that too. But we'll definitely be picking that one up because it's yeah. gorgeous. If it's specialty threads and linens, we're hoping Tasha's been directed to go and fetch them for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tasha, please go and kit up all of these <laughs> designs. No worries. I mean, coming to market's going to be so exciting. Aren't you jealous? I am jealous. <laughs> I'm coming with you next year. Um... Oh, GGR, I love that. GGR, again, she does lovely things, but this Binding of Moses looks like a real stunner. I really love the um, the, the ladies' dresses on it. They look so yeah, so cool. I think this is really interesting, this almost Asiatic one there. Yes. But it could be Queen Victoria, you know. I don't know. Who Queen Victoria? No, <laughs> doesn't have much to do with Moses. I think that is Moses' mum. It says Moses underneath. Yeah, but who was the baby? Where's the baby? Isn't that the baby? <laughs> That's the baby Pregnant. there in the bulrushes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, and that grimoire. Grimoire. Um, Is that Madame how you say Lefebvre. it? Grim grimoire. Madame Lefebvre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has some lovely ones, actually. They, they, um, they're very attractive and distinctive in their um, look. But grimoire is, um, while we here in Australia don't do Halloween in a big way, this one's just a whimsical, um, witchy sort of one. I really like the winter one as well, and I love I love anything with mushrooms on it. They, they get me. Well, the Those adorable little Christmas really trees. Lovely. And you can take a lot of these motifs out and put on in little things like pin cushions yes, and um, that's right. make a, a needle book or um, a necessary. You're so clever, Mum. <laughs> I have lots of ideas. <laughs> um, if only you'd do as I told you. <laughs> Yum. Who else have we got? These this smalls is, yeah. from how do you say that? Julia, Julia Punti Antiti. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing yes. she's I Italian. I like the sample there. But Isabella yes, her smalls there. or little um, sets of smalls. They're, they're just delightful. Mm, these yeah. Williamsburg Colonial Sewing Etui. Mm -hmm. The pins. So mm -hmm. nice. Um, that was one question I was asking. There are lots of buttons and lots of pins showing up in lots of the designers' um, previews. Um, they're also quite cute. I wondered if people are interested what in What interest do you have in indicate pins? There's also um, thread cards and scissor fobs. And, yeah. um, Did you like those little um, squirrel and hedgehog I don't like the scissor fobs. fobs. I don't like using scissor fobs very much. So I, I, I never feel okay. like they're useful, but I, I don't know if people like them. Yes, you know, Tasha, some of our nicest little trinkets like our best thimbles and our best scissors are not to be used so maybe those cute scissor fobs would look very nice on them as they sit ornamental on the side ornamental scissor fobs i see needle rolls <laughs> yes but the pins are really not uh, the pins that go in the pin cushions they just look adorable when they yeah. when they match just right yes yeah yes. and some of the buttons are nice things if you're doing necessaires or, or bags or um the project bags and so on it's a nice little touch yes yeah and there are some project templates um like plates, you know how you put your name in a book? There are plates that you put on the back of your framed project that yes. says the name of the project. Lindy Stitches has some and Kathy Barrick has some too. Yes. Um, they're so sweet. Which is a good reminder to all of us, isn't it, to um, put some details on there because, of course, we only stitch these things so that a couple of hundred years from now someone will pick them up and wonder about us and our lives and <laughs> be totally fascinated by what yeah. we find mundane. <laughs> Um, oh, Hands Across the Sea. Of course. Of course. I love yes. that Elizabeth Weston. It's yes. so pink. I think it's really adorable. It's very sweet. And of course, you've always got... To oh, put, yes. You have to put a bird on it. Everyone likes something with a bird on it. <laughs> this one I like, the, the children. Martha James. Yeah. It's sweet and I like the little reindeer. Um, this one's very neatly symmetrical again. So it's like a hint of the Scottish in it, an Eliza Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, and Anne Ogden reminds me of some of the American ones, the Pennsylvania American Sort ones. of Bosman Commons lady. A bit like that, yes. the pillars up the side. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, They're all very symmetrical, very neat. And Hands Across the Sea is always, always lovely. Um, of course, 
Oh, oh did you hear that Rosewood Manor is doing a 20th anniversary a book? A mm. hundred page book? Yes. Yes. yes I'm going to get that for myself, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. I'll give you a special it's very, price, it's, it's been very hard to um, remember that I'm not shopping just for myself. <laughs> Yes. Now, can I see what yes. are these? Sorry, these too fast. This is Lila Studio. Lila Studio. See, I like this and this. I like that cushion. Yes. The it's small lovely. sampler SL eighteen sixty two and yeah, Susanna Lynch. Very That's lovely. Obviously. Yeah, I think we'll do those. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll do those. You have to write a shopping list, Mum. Um, ink circles. This it's a jungle out there. This is really cute. And squirrels of Sumatra is coming. Have you seen the um the dragons of Sumatra in the jungle of Sumatra? I think. Mm, I didn't, didn't know they had squirrels in Sumatra, but why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, these are the um project Barry, plates from Happy Mansion. Mansion. They're lovely, aren't they? Children and their birds. Yes. <laughs> um, Food of pride. You never had a bird. <laughs> uh, Lindy stitches. This is the peacock keeper. Yeah, this is, yeah. It is whimsical. She does great, great projects. Really nice colours and really nice, um, they just, some of them are just classic enough hmm. and modern enough. It's, it's good. It's a good mix. They don't take themselves too seriously. Yes. She has a really good one um, from the Golden Girls. It's a rose quote and it says, you can lead a herring to water, but you have to walk fast or else it'll die. <laughs> Can I just picture her? <laughs> I love that one. I don't know. I feel like cheesecake now. <laughs> mm. I was. I actually looked up this morning to see if they're on Netflix because I felt like binging them all day, all day yesterday. I think they have the DVD set if you want. They do. I borrowed okay. them. Okay. Maria Casson. That's lovely, and I like the drum roll. The drum roll. Mm -hmm. This is Maria Casson. That looks like a lollipop. What is that? It's in the middle. It's a flower. In a pot. Oh, okay. It's a huge flower. Interesting. Needlework Press. Some new lovely samples from Needlework Press. Of course, we only get small previews at this point. That was great. They look lovely. They look lovely. That house yeah. looks like a lot of stitching. <laughs> I do love just a simple primitive schoolgirl alphabet sampler. Yep. It does make me pause a little when I see that they're all, all the letters are eyelets eyelets yes and there was another one i saw where all the letters are queen stitches oh no 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 <laughs> no, no 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 stop <laughs> having done a whole border of queen stitches on an eileen bennett i think queen stitches over one two mm -hmm. i think i can manage an alphabet okay you've seen my darlene osteen one right yes that's got like two thousand queen stitches mm -hmm. <laughs> um praiseworthy stitches one really likes this winter at Sugar Hill one. Mm, and do. there's a whole series, you said. There is there are several of them. They're all wintry, Christmassy scenes. Um, yeah, they just appeal, but I'm not sure if the snow um, and icicle... Because we don't get snow here in Australia. Yeah, I, I have to Australia. say, I, that's why I don't stitch a lot of wintry seasonal things. Because they feel like they don't fit us. <laughs> but... Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? But, you know, they look nice. I like the look of them. Mm -hmm. They look like a tin, a uh, chocolate box, a chocolate tin. Oh, yes, they do. A biscuit tin. tin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so these are all of the animal folk things. From the primitive hair. The pins. The pins. Mm -hmm. I do like the egg gong, I have to say. And the bamboo. Yes. Yes. She has. I like that Tudor lady. Mm -hmm. um, Kendra. And she has a, these new linens. Yes. Very niche, as you say, but they are lovely. And they're beautiful, yes. And if you've got the right design special. put on there, it's perfect. And she has a new book coming out, she says. That'd be lovely for a wedding sampler, and you could just very simply put names and dates. Yes. Um, and the preview she shows of the project she's got for yes. them. It's like a sampler like this. Yes. A, a monochrome sampler stitched on this background, with, um, the linen printed with text with... Um, an antique rose on the side is um, that's very pretty. That book will be nice. Very sophisticated. And these um, thread keeps, mm -hmm. they're very pretty. They're very pretty. So, the stitching part. Oh, I know. Wow. It's a huge sewing box. One of those ones where you picture open it. up and it. What's expands. that called? An accordion box? Um, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's lovely. Can you buy a dozen of those and bring back in a dozen? Yes. 
A dozen boxes. <laughs> sure. Why not? I have one just like that. I know. I have I to know. take the legs off because they're falling off. Uh, yes, that's very sweet. Um, who else would you like? If there's awkward silences, I'll just edit them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or we can just. Keep I have talking. another daughter named Catherine. There's never an awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't. Do you like these angels? Teresa yes. Kogut's Creative um, Whims. Um, she has an adorable Santa coming out called the mm -hmm. Wiki. Actually, the Witchy one's cute. Too. She also does a lot of punch needles de designs. Okay, Teresa Kogut. Punch needle is something Tasha is always giving me a hard time about too because I really, really, really want give to give you a do hard it. time. And I have several kits, including. Um, I think I bought you a starter kit. I don't give you a hard time. <laughs> I just the hardest thing is always starting. I need to um, pull it all out, put it together. Mm -hmm. These, honestly, this looks like a lot of work, though, this angel. It's probably good advice it. overall. What? Pull it together. <laughs> Pull it together, Mum. <laughs> Pull it together, Mum. I was listening. Oh, look at See, this. I like this little project there. Look at this. Thistles. Yeah, look at this sampler. Like that long band sampler. And, yes, that project bag is very cute. Stitch a stitch flower. in time. Live is a, life is a, live is a stitch. <laughs> I think it says live, but it should say life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, very cute. My stitching bag mends the soul. Very cute. I like that little cabin in the pines. I actually really like that. Mm. <laughs> what is it that um, looks like it's framed in a tin? It's a round. Yes, it could be a tin lid or something. I like this pin cushion on top of a wooden stand with thread things. I, if we can get the wooden things. Finishing things. Yes. Yes. So it's finishing in this kind of fashion, you know, on candlesticks or mm -hmm. weird things like that. Trivets. It's really popular at the moment. It's having a moment, but I can't do it. That looks too hard. It's doing the first one's yeah. hard, but yeah, you know. This preview from a needle and bread has me intrigued. It says yes. there will be a new series that may create a bit of a hoop hoopla, and there's a picture of a hoop, and some new and unique finishing ideas. She does some wonderful series. I know, I know. Don't worry, we'll be getting some of those. I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Very cute. That's it. Um, but what about the linen and thread box? Um, so linen and threads, which is one of our shops here, um, and they also do the free um, stitch along, the linen and thread stitch along. Um, they've got new designs coming out. They've got this Botany Bay one, Botany Bay sampler, From which I quite like because it's designs. actually Australian. Yes, Fox and Rabbit. I, I think that's Brendan. Um, I like the Botany Bay. I, I do. It's a very attractive sampler. It's I, a very I nice can't looking sampler. I see the detail of the motifs. I imagine it's the Endeavour, it Captain the Cook's ship. Um, I don't know if it's a reproduction or if it's original though, because it's got names on it. Mm. Mm. It doesn't say. It's an original, but it would be un unusual to have a stream. But this one's a reproduction. And this is a reproduction of a sampler, Emily Trump. This sampler was actually stitched in Australia because most of the samplers we find in Australia were stitched in the UK but brought here. Um, yeah, you like a school girl it alphabet is sampler. Thank you. <laughs> I do. I just learned that <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. So I, I like those. And there's two more of two more from Fox and Rabbit. Jane Joanna Johanna Wilkins and Sarah Newman. Oh, we already GGR. talked about GGR. And that's that's it. That's all the ones mm -hmm. I've seen, I think. That's yes, going to take waiting. me a long time to put all those pictures in. I'm really keen <laughs> to see if Chef's Bush have something new. Uh -huh. Their designs the last few years have gone off in a bit of a tangent from their original sort of look. Um, Backbird Designs, I think they always do yes, something Yes, they'll nice. have a new book. Yeah. And um, they, they have, over the last few months, released a new book. Um, it might be Menu Quilting, but I'll look that up. Yeah. Um, with thy needle, I always look forward to their. I'm looking forward to seeing what Paulette from Plum Street Samplers has out. Mm -hmm. New ones oh, from her. Yes, absolutely. And Heartstring Samplery. You know, Beth said this that her 200th, 200th design will be released at market. And she said, go and look on my blog at what my 100th design was, and that'll be a hint. And it was his eyes on the sparrow. You know, the uh -huh. massive one. You okay. have that, don't you? I yes, <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be big and beautiful. Barbara Anna? Barbara Anna? Anything? No, I haven't seen anything no. from her yet. Okay. Um, she's got good ones. Okay. Yes. So, 
Natasha's going to have to be very organised. Power shop. I'm always. I hope I've prepared her for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've certainly set a good example. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And let's not let Dad watch this video afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just let Dad carry the suitcase from <laughs> the airport. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exciting times ahead. Um, but please, we, as I said before, anything, any questions you want to ask me, any indication you can give us about the sorts of things that you're finding difficult to source difficult to find or are particularly interested in just to guide us because you know it's not worth us doing it if you don't like what we do yep exactly pretty much okay um, i think that's everything I send us an email with any questions um tasha will um put up the website the shop address and our email address yes there'll be lots of links in the description below for you to email us to visit the shop to make pre-orders um anything like that um, yeah, good. That's us done. That's us done. Can I show them your sofas on the wall? You may. Yes. Good. I hope the room's clean. Your brother has been in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Look at all of mum's look at all of mum's books first. They're all are they all stitching? stitching quilting? Quilting. And and it goes down as well. She has a lot of books. <laughs> it's very useful having a, a mum who's into the same things as you. <laughs> Um, it's been around for a long time. What's this one, Mum? Oh, this one I loved, actually. It was a teaching sampler. And I think it was a very early Darlene Osteen. Um, but that was... I totally loved doing it. Each band sort of was a different sort of set of stitches. The colours are lovely. Very nice. Yeah, so what you did I do? 1996. This? That's, a That's an old ago. one. <laughs> These are all old, Mum. You haven't stitched in years. Well, I haven't. I've got a whole stack waiting for framing. I haven't framed in years. Okay, I'm just trying to get a bit closer. It's a white work one with a lot of glare on it. These are all pretty old, Mum. 1995. Yeah, it's either a Darlene Osteen or Eileen Bennett. That one's an Eileen Bennett. This one up here. The top yes, one. I think it is. And certainly the one next to it is an Eileen Bennett. Show the fluffy sheep. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so much glare on there. There we go. Oops, there's the, fl the fluffy sheep. Is that turkey stitch? Yes, it is. Very cute. Mm. Very cute. Uh, this one, do you know? The hearts. Yes. Um, cricket? The cricket collection. I think so. Mm. Again, you know, what was that, 94? Yes. A long time ago. There's a bit of glare on that screen. Sorry. Actually. Yes, I know. The one above I stitched when we lived in, um, actually I didn't, I bought it when we lived in England and finished it 10 years later by the look of the date on there. I really like this one. 1999? We lived just outside Chichester. Oh, three. 1993. 1993, yeah. I thought oh, that no. can't be right. 99. So came back from England in 91. I love this one this too. This one, you must do the verse. <laughs> to be a Virginian, either by birth, marriage, adoption, or even on one's mother's side, is an introduction to any state in the Union, a passport to any foreign country, and a benediction from the Almighty God. I know it off by heart. I used to read it every day. I saw that. We were still living in the hotel in America when we arrived. And my first trip to a needle workshop, this was in the window, and I just had to buy it. Yes. And of course, then we had to find a house in Virginia, not on the American side <laughs> of Washington. Oh, is that why we live there? <laughs> <laughs> right. This one's an Arlene Bennett. This is the Queen Stitches in the border. <laughs> oh, yes, the entire border is Queen Stitches. Is it really? They look square. No, it's only the green part that's Queen Stitches. Actually, no, there's one I haven't got framed that's Queen Stitches all the way around. The green parts are Queen Stitches and the um, red parts are Islands. Okay. Yep. But there's a lot of over one in that one. This yes. next one's a reproduction from Joanne Harvey, the exemplary. Actually, they're both are Joanne Harvey reproductions, I think. I really like the way these are framed. Yeah, I was going to say I love framing With the hem, that. is it hem stitch? Hem stitch them and then tack them to a piece of linen and stretch that linen. And you even wrote your name on the back linen on that one. Respectfully reproduced 1995, Mum. Yeah, they're both lovely. That's all. That's all I've got framed. I've got all my needle rolls somewhere. One day we'll have to show all of your works in progress and all your unframed ones. Mm. Yes. So there's Mum's samplers. 
Don't you have more? Oh, I do, but they're not up. And I've yeah. got one huge one that the glass broke on. I need to get replaced. Oh, yes, I like that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's it, right? That's it. Okay, bye. I just thought I'd quickly show some of the new fabrics Mum's got in. What are these ones? Lesion. Oh, they're the lawns. They're the lawns. They're like liberties. They're so fine and lovely. Yes. They're very pretty. They're really strong fabric, but just fine and lovely. Very pretty. Mm. And these are uh, Jen Kingwell, you said. They're Jen Kingwell's newest line. Looking forward. Looking forward. And of course, she's got a terrific new quilt. Oh, look at that one. Lovely That's very bright. Coming out every um, coming out in quilt mania. She's got a new mystery quilt. Oh, okay. So you've got all the fabrics for that, do you, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> Good. And there's, this is the new Tilda Apple Butter range. I've got all of those fabrics done there too. Oh, very cute. Yes, very nice. Oh, what's this one? This is new. Oh, they're lovely. Florence Broadhurst. Oh my gosh. Mum, I'm going to make a project bag out of this. Yeah. Love that. Yes, and then there's the tulip pink backings there. Yes, the yeah, quilt back. That's just lovely. Too. That's really wide, isn't it? Yeah. And really thick. Yes, I hate cutting this, it's so thick. Um, it's a sateen. A sateen? Yes. Ah, okay. So it's really oh my lovely gosh, if you flamingos. Want to, use it to make a, um, a whole cloth quilt. Right. You just do like camphor stitching, so use um, like pearl cottons and just stitch stitch motifs on it or names and letters or just oh, great interesting big, great big running stitches in patterns like elephants and can you imagine the Indian culture where they just do very primitive type? yes yes very nice gosh it's a really nice color actually really deep deep dark I blue I know there's lots of colors of hers did you show the tildes oh the tildes look at all the tildes they are lovely I actually um took a scrap off the end of one of the rolls oh, one of these fl uh, birdie birdie ones they were so pretty yes, there's a lot here mum there's so many tildes there's so many oh my gosh what are you pulling out now did you show those um... I did I like these zebras <laughs> not sure what I think about the flamingos though not really my thing Pi Look, pineapples Oh look how cute is that? These are Liberty. These are Liberty oh mom, I love lawn. this one. Look at the balloon. <laughs> it's so cute. Wow. Oh cute. They're terrific, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I would have liked that in lots of colourways, but that's all they had. The balloon's really good. Aren't they? Yes. Beautiful colours too, those sort of muted blues and greens. Yes. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here, Mum. We do have a lot of stuff in here. We do have a lot of stuff in here. Looking forward to winter coming and I've got lots of ideas for projects with my pure wool too. Up there on the top? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lots of stuff. And this is only the beginning. There's all of these. Willie Morris up there. What are these? Oh, these are those... Well, lots of these what are these? Friedlander? Modern. Caroline Friedlander, that's what I was thinking of. Yes. And I've got lots of reproductions here. Mm hmm. That's lovely. Groovy stuff like this. Like, this is oh, I like this one. It's so colourful. This is so colourful, but yes. I love the fact that the circles. So, yes. Can imagine doing cushions and bags and. Yep. Yeah. Um, personally, I've got an idea to do it. And sewing the bag using the circle going around and opens up and inside you've got your pin cushion and your needle book <laughs> okay there you go. are you, you making one for here. me <laughs> <laughs> when i get all the time in the world when my children stop harassing me like that's the sort of thing i'm going oh to do oh my gosh don't well. come around here i'm hiding and junk. this is this is there's <laughs> even more <laughs> you've got a lot of stuff mum oh my gosh yeah you do have a lot of stuff i wanted to show the the tulip pinks everyone's seen tulip pink I know they're over there. Yeah. Oh, look how cool they are. They're so colourful. All of those, then of course, there are all the stripes and spots. Yep. 
lovely. They're so nice. They are. They're so lovely. And you've do you got like tulip. I do like cave too, but um. Oh, is that you know when I was doing the shop last time, some of these were so popular. These um big hibiscus. What are they? Not hibiscus. Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. Yeah. That's this the cabbage one. Of one of my isn't it? Favorites, isn't it? It's funny. Oh yes! Wow. Gosh. These fabrics are lovely, soft, um, with a polish to them too. Lovely. Then of course there's the fish. Oh my gosh! I haven't seen the fish. Look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I know. Interesting. <laughs> there's something for everyone. There is. That's there what is. makes it so hard to buy for the shop because you do tend to follow your own taste, but you know there's so many. How do you go from the fish to something like that? Oh, that's cool. It's an aeroplane. Oh, yeah. I like it. And it's a bit of a trend at the moment. There are lots of clean new sort of ones. Wow. There's a dressmaker one I must show you too. A dressmaker. Wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. There's so much stuff yes. here. Then, of course, there are things like this, which are very, very useful because you get on here eight different fabrics. In strips. In strips. So if you're doing English paper piecing or small things or oh, I a large see. bag and you, you can do loads of different hexes you've got from one little piece. Fabric from yes. you know, your one half yard gives you a yes. lot of variety and choice. Yes. It's really great for you know quilters will understand if you want to add to your stash, but anyone else making project bags or backing pin cushions and so on, it's so versatile. What's that called? Candy stripes or something, isn't These it? These are called lollies. Lollies. And they're also Jen King ones. Yes. And of course they coordinate so many things and you know, all the other bright coloured ranges. Then we've got things like these. These are Dutch fabrics. Oh wow. I don't remember seeing this one. This is a fairly new one, so mm. you know, that's a great motive for the central yes. quilt. Which will add borders to and so mm -hmm. The Florence, the King, the Florence Broadhurst also have these coordinations yep. like that. That one you liked in blue. It's pretty oh, amazing yeah. too. Yeah, I do like that one. Peacocks, peacocks are really popular at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think this is this year. It's peacocks. Last year it was foxes. <laughs> okay. Well, mm. well. What do we? Oh, I wanted to show you this dressmaker one. It's amazing you can get a whole lot of different ranges, and they um, all seem to complement each other. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> Love it. Oh, lovely. That's so cute. Like the old fashioned patterns. This one is always popular. A good old news. Oh, look, yes. Yeah. Look at this face. <laughs> oh, gosh, it looks like Julie Andrews, doesn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> I think it does. What's interesting is you can actually read them. So you can read the specials and what they're advertising, you know, typewriters. <laughs> Yep. So that would be great for a quilt bag because you know, yes. you can read it forever. Yes. The white sail. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Wow. Alright, and there are my favourites. The William Morris. William Up there. Morris. Always. What's that? like this are just tantalising, aren't they? <laughs> what have we got? William Morris. Oh, I have a project bag with that one on it, Mum. Oh, that's nice. Prince. Yes. Classic colours. Oh, yes. Lovely. Everything Morris is lovely. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yep. Okay, stop. I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. I will be cleaning up and organising before you um, come and look after the shop for me. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll have to have another orientation to these, see where the new stuff is. They're the Lessian. Nice lawns. 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 Mm -hmm. This cutie. Yeah. Oh, look, look at the little deer. Creatures in there. And the bunny rabbit and the birdies. Oh, that's lovely. Very these nice. Are just beautiful for making um, lovely summer skirts. Mm hmm baby clothes and so on. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, look at all the colours. This this wall of colour. It's lovely. Yes. Good. My <laughs> special place. <laughs> all right. Thank you for showing us. 
my pleasure come again <laughs> <laughs> okay bye